And for our next guest, they've got a story that could only happen in Washington. The two business partners paired up after talking barbecue sauce while working late one night on Capitol Hill. Without much debate and certainly no cloture vote, they crafted their own barbecue sauce and turned it into a thriving business in 2006. This weekend, the two will be featured on ABC's Shark Tank to get their to try and get their sauce into the large onto a larger stage. So we welcome the two behind Pork Barrel Barbecue, Heath Hall and Brent Thompson. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. Thanks for having us. So tell me, uh, you had this idea late one night in Capitol Hill, um, and then now we're here. What was the in between? Well, the in between was pretty long, a lot of uh, hard work. One of the biggest challenges was just getting through all the government red tape, which uh, <laughs> we probably helped make some of that. Yeah, right. yeah, you should have thought of that while you were still on Capitol Hill and, you know, gotten rid of it all first. But so for uh, what is it, an approval because it's a food that has to be sold, is that the kind of red tape? Yeah, Brett did most of that stuff, so I'll let him talk about that. I mean, we, we came up with the idea. We were late one night, both former Senate staffers, and we were watching senators talk about pork barrel spending. And, you know, Heath and I were talking about our favorite thing, which was dinner. And, you know, <laughs> of course. Like to pull pork <laughs> yeah, and it right. like barbecue. And so, so I like pork, how you guys pork think. barrel barbecue <laughs> was born. And, yeah, we love to eat, and so it seemed like a perfect company to form. Uh, so Did you have any talent in making barbecue sauce? I've always liked making money, and he's always made great food. So it was a great partnership. This is a beautiful marriage. Yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up in a family with a dad who I like to refer to as the post office guy of barbecue. Rain, sleet, snow, <laughs> tornado. It. it didn't matter. He was yeah. out there grilling. Coming from Oklahoma, yeah. I've known a few dads like that. <laughs> so we, uh, yeah, we, you know, put some stuff together. Our sauce actually took second place in the best sauce in the nation contest earlier this year. Uh, we were pretty and, stoked and about barbecue that. Barbecue people are hardcore, so that's some they competition. Are. They are. And there's really no food that's more intensely personal than barbecue. You know, your Carolina, your Texas, your Memphis, your Missouri, exactly. uh, you know, your beef or your pork or your yep. chicken and your vinegar or your yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we were really stoked to to get the the award and we've just really taken off since. We're uh, in 65 grocery stores. We're in Harris Teeter. We're in Balducci's, U Crops, Let's Meet on the Avenue, Wagshaws, and uh, what am I forgetting? Organic Butcher of McLean here in uh, the D.C. area. And some really good news for people here in the Virginia area. You've teamed up with Gold Mango Mike. Yep. Mango Mike. <laughs> and you're opening an actual barbecue joint in Delray. That's absolutely right. And I, I'm a Delray resident, and it was always a dream to you know have a, rest, a, a restaurant five blocks from your house. And so we teamed up with Mango Mike Anderson and Bill Blackburn, and spring next year we'll have a restaurant. We you plan know, to see Del Brett's waist right. line increase. Yeah, yeah. And Delray residents are such snobs because they think they have everything and they don't need anything else, but they did not have good barbecue. They do have everything else. Well, no. we're, we're excited. We actually did Taste of Delray last week and we were voted the People's Choice Award for best uh, restaurant and so we're really excited to and get into no Delray. And that's no easy feat. They've got some good restaurants There's some out great there. restaurants in Delray. And Mango Mike and, and Bill Blackburn, our partners, are, are great in the area with restaurants. We're really looking forward to working with them. So this Sunday night, Mango Mike's is hosting a watch party yep. while you guys are going to be on Shark Tank. It, it pre-taped, I assume, so you're not going to be on it live. But tell us about the show because it's a lot of fun to watch, but I suspect it's not much fun. It's pretty nerve-wracking to be on it. It is. I mean, it's it's really a chance of a lifetime. And I mean, for entrepreneurs, especially if you're having trouble getting funds from a, a bank, particularly in these economic times, a lot of small businesses are facing that. And so. The, the way the show works is you have five multimillionaires or sometimes billionaires and they're some of the best businessmen and women in our nation and you get to go into the shark tank and pitch your idea to them. In this case we pitched our barbecue sauce and our spice rub and they then get to choose whether they invest their own money in the company and of course you know, it's Shark Tank because if they see something they like, they smell blood in the water and they go after it and try to get 50% of the company at least. Perfect segue, thank you for my next question. Glad I know you, you don't do want to give too away too much, um, but did they get to smell the barbecue? Did you get to bring actual tasting samples for them? We, all the way to California, we brought our award-winning pulled pork and uh, vegetables and everything else. So they had a chance. We knew it was important for them to taste it. And for viewers at home, they'll have to watch Sunday night, 9 o'clock on ABC to see how it goes. Good plug. Well, I wanted to ask you guys some of the mistakes you learned along with the way, but we got to wrap. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to have you guys back on again, especially after we see the results and once the new restaurant opens. And we, everybody check out porkbarrelbarbecue.com for all the latest information, and uh, we'll have updates on what happened on the show on there as well. I do have time to ask this question. Which one of you is the better cook? He is. That's, <laughs> no that's <doubt>. me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll come to your house to watch yeah. the show. <laughs> well, we'll be right back after the break.